class of 1958. Class of 57. In 1960. The class of 1964. Class of 1965. The class of 1978. This was in 82. The class of 1992. Do you remember this one? Well, I gotta admit that uh, all my, my best memories are from high school. I came from Durham, North Carolina. I was in an all-black environment, and I came here at the beginning of integration. So we had a better experience during the desegregation year. And with all the inequities in the system, and the students that I taught, seven years later. There was supposed to have been a giant fight at the Anac High School of Anacostia. My experience here left me with the knowledge of what true friendship was about. My name is Rachel Hicks. I taught social studies at Easter Senior High School. And I would never forget that, how proud I was that most of my students made it to graduation. 22 years old at the prom, at the senior prom. So the children, a lot of the students uh, that I had were older than I was. It's not always the building. You have to look inside of what's being offered. I never in my life cut class. I had the distinct pleasure of being a member of a singing group. We won the talent show called The Lovers, and we used to do all the Temptations and stuff and we tore this joint up. <laughs> I got an invitation to go to Europe, to Vienna, to participate in the International Youth and Music Festival. We were invited to the White House. We had a special concert with uh, President Reagan. So everyone was hyped when we came in. They wore their spirit colors. We were had pat rallies, and we won. As I know also, I remember a group by the name of the Martin Strivers. We came up during a period of, uh, during the Vietnam era where we were starting to question what was really going on in this city and in our nation. Thank God for the Columbia Blue and White and I'll be a rambler for the rest of my life. We actually played the first championship game at the uh, RFK Stadium. We beat St. John's 34 to 14. My name is Harry Horton, class of 1960. And I would like to say that Easton prepared me for my Army career because when I was down Fort Knox, Kentucky, I didn't even know how to march, didn't know how to do manual arms, didn't know how to break a weapon down. And when I showed the sergeants down there that I could do all of this, they made me uh, an instance, uh, put a little band around me, made me an instant sergeant. Um, and this is really a place where we have students and alumni come and just get a glimpse of all of what Eastern was and will continue to be into the future. What attracted me to Eastern was football. And I married a football player. <laughs> and Eastern High School at that time, they, we were the only high school in the city that, that gave a citywide talent show at the Howard Theater before it closed. Did all of our assignments on our prom night before leaving Eastern. One thing that stands out the most about going to Eastern was my participation in the band. This is one of my band's partners here. One thing that stands out um, from my time here at Eastern is just being proud of being in the health careers. I'm Vicki Cunningham, and I have been blessed to be the chairman of the History and Legacy Committee of the Eastern Alumni Association. We help the generations to come after us grow and expand their horizons. Oh, I think it's an honor coming to Eastern, being a part of their legacy class. I'm Rachel Skerritt. I'm the principal here at Eastern Senior High School. One of the things that attracted me here from Boston was the extremely strong support of the alumni community. As a rambler, I pledge to keep my head in the game. I know that I am a work in progress. Those who came before me. Therefore, I will 